and and the players, I imagine as well. I mean, how are things this week with obviously Billy Dodd's departure um, on Sunday? Obviously, it's disappointing when anyone loses their job. You know, the manager I've worked with for for the, for the two and a bit years he was here. You know, yes, we had a, a fallout and over the period of time, but he was great to work with. A really, really nice guy. And, you know, same with Barry Wilson, who was here for the for the, the duration when I was here as well. Gone really, really well with Baz. But the industry that we're in, you know, the results haven't been great, and you know, it, it's, it's shortened. You know, everyone's wanting success now, and, and these things happen. And you know, as players, you know, we have to take a little bit of responsibility as well for it. But you know, we have to move on. We've got we've got to try and get points from the board again and push up the league table. Do the players feel any sort of sense of responsibility themselves? Because um, obviously results haven't been coming on the pitch. Yeah, I think when you look over, I think you know it's harsh. It would be very harsh to say that all the games we've, we've been quite poor. But I think some games we've played really well. We've just you know sort of missed opportunities and slack slack goals we've given away. So we're not miles away from from where we want to be. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you can play as good as you want. But it's about getting results on the Saturday that counts. And you know, for the for for the start of the season, we haven't done that. But I think there's also a sort of no need to get carried away. Really, we're only five league games in, with 31 games to go still in the league. So, you know, to get really sort of downbeat and that would be would be the wrong thing. We have to remain positive. We've got plenty of games to to get points back on the board, and you know, we've got good enough players in the dressing room, and we know that. You know, obviously, a new manager is going to come in and. For, for everyone involved, it could be a new voice, you know, something different that from what play, players have experienced before. So, yeah, the disappointment of where we find ourselves, the disappointment of losing the manager and Barry, but at the other side of it as well is, like I said, there's a long way to go. I think if we just sort of dwelled on that, then it'd be a big problem. If there was five games to go in the season, we'd be a bit more worried. But at the moment, we're not. We know we've got an addressing room, and we know that it's little things that once they start going away, we'll turn them around and we'll get the results. Hi Mark, um, how is confidence about the place? Just, just how low is that, son? I, 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 to be truthful, I don't think it's low. Actually, that's what I'm saying. I think it's been, you know, the results and the performances. The results are probably the only thing that's kind of killing us at the moment. Performances, why? Especially in the last game, I thought we did, we did enough in that game to to get a win or even a draw. But you know, it wasn't to be, and that's just the way things have gone. But you know, the boys have trained really well over the past two, three weeks. You know, that we we believe in ourselves. We know what we've got. And, you know, football can do this to you sometimes where you you know you can put a lot of hard work in it and you don't get the reward but the other side of it as well sometimes you can play really bad and find yourself winning so you know we have to stay upbeat which we are we're more than capable as I said of getting results in this league and you know all these difficult games and stuff but we've got a good enough squad good enough people around us to keep us going you know myself obviously the older players as well we've been trying to you know sort of keep it all upbeat as well because for some players especially younger players you know, it's, it's, they, they can find themselves down in the dumps, really. But they haven't, you know, and that's the, the credit to them now. They've picked themselves up and, you know, we're more than, you know, motivated to keep going and get as many points as we can, and that's hopefully starting on Saturday. Yeah, you, you couldn't have it much harder tomorrow. Turned United uh, at home, just how big a game is that? How important is it to show a, a really positive reaction? Yeah, well, the position we find ourselves in, every game's massive now. And Dundee United obviously being, you know, sort of favourites for the league. It's a big test for us. But like I said, we've got good enough players in that dressing room to go out and put put a performance on and win the game. And you know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out and try and win the game, like we have every other game. You know, and as I said, sometimes football, your luck changes. And you know, I thought we against them firm, and I thought that was maybe maybe going to be the case. But as I said, the performance against Rafe, apart from obviously losing the the the, the, the game. We, you know, it was a good enough performance to get something out of it, but it wasn't to be. So we'll take that into the game. You know, everyone sort of, I said, trained really well. You know, the, the potential new manager could be watching as well. So for a lot of players as well, it's the ones who hadn't really featured or you know given the opportunity tomorrow, whatever um, the the Charlie or Robo and um, whatever the team they pick, it's an opportunity for them as well. So, but listen, first and foremost, we have to go out there and you know perform and get the and get the result that we need to to kickstart the season. But how important is it to get a new manager quickly? I know Scott Gardner said you'd ideally leave someone in by the bros game, but that will obviously benefit you guys then if it sort of takes a bit more stability, doesn't it? Yeah, you could look at it like that as well, but I think, you know, as I said, of players, I think when you look at it, it's, it's we have to sort of do our job as well on the pitch. You know, as I said, any manager can come in and set us up and do anything, but if you're not performing or you're not sort of giving it all on, a, on the Saturday, it doesn't really matter results, you know, it's just a case now of us players putting the, putting the work in, which we have done over the last couple of 
couple of weeks really and as I said, fingers crossed we can you know get a bit of, bit of luck or just basically on the day everything goes for us and perform the way we, we know they're capable of and get the result. But like you said, with a new manager, the quicker it is then it could be better, but as you said, that's nothing to do with me. I don't know what's going on in, that, in the background, I'm sure you know the Scott and the, the board of directors are sort of started a process and stuff, so we'll see we'll see what happens and how long it takes. But at the moment, you know, listen, I've worked with Robo for, for long enough, Charlie as well, you know, they're very, very experienced guys. They've they've already sort of changed one or two things as well. So we know, you know, at the moment everyone will just put their head down and work hard for them and do what they uh, what's us. So we'll see what happens. Frustrating, obviously, last week, we were, especially the first half, I mean, far back, by far the better team was it. Just frustrating that the boys up top just couldn't get that goal, it's sort of, it can be easier for you to the back. Yeah, well, that's what it is, you know, it's, it can be that way as well, because I think defensively, as I said, yes, we've given away stupid goals, but I think we're, someone was telling me, I think we've got the fourth best defence in the league still, so, yes, we're, we're giving away stupid goals, but we're not giving away a lot of goals, and I think if we were getting beat sort of four or five every week, I think there'd be a bit concerned, but the fact that we've only lost by one goal in all our league games kind of shows that we're not miles away from it, so Saturday was very, very, very frustrating for the fact that we had these opportunities to go and win the game, but we never took them, but listen, that'll turn, we know that, football can do that, we've got good enough players up front, especially now, you know, there's a bit of freedom, like boys will be given a little bit of freedom to go and attack, you've got Robo attacking coach, Charlie, very attacking coach as well, you know, and they've said that, the first thing they said was they want to just take the, the reins off certain players and allow them to go and express themselves and, you know, fingers crossed, as I say, get the, get the goals and the results that can get us going, you know, push us up the league. It's been done tonight, obviously, tough as you said before, but historically in this league, we always do well against the bigger teams, especially at home, don't we, so maybe this is a ideal game for you boys? Yeah, well, you're hoping that as well, as you said, these things we can go for you are against you but it's, 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 it's going to be a very difficult game as I said they're, they're favourites for, for the title come, just coming down but you know we've got a good squad we know that you know players are more than capable of putting a performance on we're hoping you know fans can you know can come back and you know back us you know and there's been a lot of sort of disc discontent between um, amongst them from the last sort of few few four three four weeks but you know things have changed now so you know the, to say, cause some of them have got what they wanted, so let's see if they can back it up and come back and support the boys. Good luck, Saturday, mate. Cheers, thanks very much, thank you.